Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters today talking about the pros and cons of buying a house versus a condo. Today I'm here to talk about the pros and cons of buying a house versus a condo. Now, obviously there's a lot of reasons why people want to buy a house versus a condo. Privacy, having your own space and things like that. But here in Southern California, obviously houses are very expensive, so many people have to start out buying a condo. So there's a few things to be aware of when you're going to buy a condo versus a house, and if you do need to start there. So some of the pros about buying a condo is you can generally get a better neighborhood for the same price that you would buy a, a house. So for the same monthly payment and costs and expenses, you can get into a much better neighborhood by buying a condo to start out with. Also, the HOA manages most, if not all, of the exterior of the property. Now that's very good news for those of us who are busy working or have busy lives running around and don't have time to mow the lawn. Or perhaps you're older, you're decided to downsize and you don't want to have all of the maintenance of the exterior of the property. So that can be a really good option as well. It is also uh, your forced savings plan. So HOAs have monthly HOA dues and it's really becomes a forced savings plan for you so that you're not worrying about expensive repairs like replacing a roof or things like that. Now, the other thing is you can just walk away from the property if you are going on vacation, traveling, things like that, or maybe you travel a lot for business. It's very easy to close up and no one knows you're gone. So security-wise, it can be a lot better for someone who's traveling a lot. Now, there's also a lot of rules with an HOA. Now, this can be a pro or a con. It prevents your neighbors from doing all sorts of crazy things like putting up tin foil in their windows, things like that. Um, but this can also be restrictive for you as well, as you also have to follow all the rules. So just something to be aware of. Now, some cons with HOAs is that sometimes they can be poorly managed. Sometimes the money, unfortunately, just doesn't get enough collected to pay the bills, things like that, and they don't aren't very active about managing. So you want to be really sure that when you're buying a place that you look at the budget, you look at the reserves and all of the information. HOA costs can go up as well from year to year, and there may be special assessments or repairs if, again, the property has not been properly maintained over the years. So just something to be aware of. Uh, you do live with neighbors, obviously, in an HOA or a condo building, so you have to make peace with those neighbors as well. And your privacy is ultimately lessened. Ultimately, you also may deal with a property management company or if it's a self-managed HOA, have to deal with the board if you need to get repairs made or changes made to the property or the building. Obviously with a house, the difference is it's your own space. You can do whatever you want to it. Now, the negative side to that is also that your neighbors can as well. And if they want to paint their house purple or teal and park six cars on the lawn, they can do that, obviously within city restrictions. Um, but you do have to be aware that your neighbors can do whatever they want too, and that can be a good or a bad thing. Obviously, generally speaking, there's no shared walls within a house, and you have increased privacy and more space. Downsides is that the repairs are all on you. So if you do buy a house, you do want to make sure that you're putting aside money every month for potential repairs down the line. Roofing, plumbing, electrical upgrades, those can all cost thousands. So you want to be prepared for those eventual expenses. And that maintenance is all up to you as well. Uh, taking care of the lawn and painting and maintaining the exterior of your home. In addition, your bills can be more expensive than it would be in a condo for water, uh, trash, for your electrical, especially in the summer months when it's warm and you have if you have air conditioning. And all of those expenses can be higher rather than in the shared environment in a condo. If you have any other questions about this and having trouble deciding if you would be better off in a condo or house, give me a call. You I can be reached at 562-316 2915. 
Again, 562-316-2915. Or you can email me at melinda at theelmerteam.com. Thanks so much for watching, and please feel free to forward and share this with your friends.